Get ready, and let's go get wet. <laughs> sure is beautiful. Down there over 100 feet, probably about 25, 30 minutes, which for that kind of depth is pro status. Yucatan, Mexico. I got Dive Talk and Epic Diver. Mike, what's up? <laughs> Good intro. <laughs> All right, so since I don't have any dive gear, uh, we're doing a little kind of borrow session here. Have some fins, extra fins. The places these have been, really, we can't go to. Because he goes to, <laughs> he goes there. Nice. So we can't go there. Sweet. And then I got some booties. Got some boots you can wear to protect your feet. Thank nice. you, man. And Perfect. this one is our uh, Dive Talk Dive Team rash guard. Sweet. You don't have to borrow this one. This one is yours. Really? Welcome to the team. Heck yeah, man. Hey, man. Very awesome. Hey. Awesome. Thank you. Get ready and let's go get wet. <laughs> All right, man. Sweet. Have fun. Be yeah. safe. Today, what's going on is a little switcheroo. This guy in the dive team, dive talk shirt, is the diver, and I'm the surface support. How cool is that? Josh is going diving. Holy moly. All the way down there is where we have to climb down to, and uh, that's the diving area. There's the platform, Gus is already on it, straight below me. Josh is scoping out his diving place. Look at him. In the dive talk shirt, he's part of the team. Sure is beautiful. Wow. Every time I see it. Okay, the team is headed down. Josh dropped a microphone, so Gus is gonna go down and Search for it. It's, it's somewhere on like not too far from the dock, supposedly. We just dropped it, so probably like 130 or so feet below. But there's rock, so it's going to be hard. It could be wedged down in between a rock. Hope he finds it. Oh, might maybe going in. Bye bye. There he goes. Like a fish. He's now in his natural place. Yes. And just look straight up. Watch this. Ready? Boom. Look at that. Water's so clear. But we have scoped out this entire I'll call it a cavern, and there's no real going passage, at least that we found. We've got tanks down here, so I think Josh will be using one of mine. Okay, next Just good. And of course, these are Gus's. It is humbling cave exploration because it's hard, guys. Like, you know, when you're down there and it's all, there's no viz, and you know, you got line, it can tangle in your tank, it, it really is, uh, like, uh, it should almost be a separate class in itself, honestly. <clears throat> Where we last left off on this little adventure is trying to find my road, I mean, trying to find my DJI uh, wireless mic that sunk to the bottom. And Gus is volunteering to go back to 110, 120 feet to go look for it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If it's still on, it might have recorded some kind of like underwater monsters down there. Uh, that would be amazing. <laughs> we can go viral, that would be great. <coughs> All right. Light. 
Let's do this. You know the general area? I'm going diving in this today. Oh, and look, the beam's starting. Awesome. Woody, that beam is absolutely, you've been diving here for multiple days now. I've not seen one like it. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. It's probably the prettiest light beam I've ever well, seen underwater. Oh, sorry. No, tell us. Yeah. I keep getting into your tell conversation. Tell us. No, please do. But having the multiple light beams coming. Yes. Okay. Unbelievable. Incredible. It's surreal, actually. I mean, when you're under there, it's like people probably think we're, you know, green screening that in or something like that. Find the ethanol? Sure. Yeah, I, I've been filming just free diving, just Somewhere holding my breath down to like 15, 20 feet. Swimming around, keeping an and eye out. It, it feels to me like that scene in Interstellar, where like the, there's like some dust coming up in uh, Matthew McConaughey's room. Yeah. And then there's like beams coming out of it, and they're like talking to another dimension. That's what this these light beams are. So it looks like Gus and Gail are still down there trying to find that microphone. They've been down there over 100 feet, probably about 25, 30 minutes, which for that kind of depth is pro status. Um, I was just saying that the deco time, um, your safety stop uh, of around 30 feet, uh, when you're down there for a long time, it starts adding up. Um, it's kind of exponential the longer you are down at the bottom uh, the longer you have to do a safety stop for your blood to uh, rid itself of the nitrogen bubbles in it or for the bubbles to get smaller. Here in a minute, uh, when Gus comes back up, he's gonna take me on my first 60 foot dive. Uh, we're not gonna be going to the bottom, no way. Um, the bottom here is like 200 feet in the deepest spots. But he says there is a rock um, that is around 62 to 64 feet that we may uh, be trying to explore to, or at least getting close to it. Um, the recommended depth for an open water certification, which is what I have, uh, is around 60 feet. And uh, Gus is actually an instructor, so he said he felt comfortable with taking me to that depth. And I'm really excited um, to be, have the opportunity to dive this amazing cenota here in Yucatan, Mexico. He's back. Gus is finally done with his deco stop and surfacing. minutes and couldn't find it. Jeez. Yeah, an hour and 40 minutes looking and couldn't find it. I have no idea. I found a bunch of other stuff. I found some earrings. You can sell them and buy another one. <laughs> so let me show you the stuff I actually found. Well, don't drop it because we know you can't go re relocate it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't drop it. Look at that. Whoa. You found the, both of them too? Both of them. And they weren't in the same place. Like they were like, I don't know, 30 feet apart. One was way deeper than the other. I think one of them was a, like 150 feet deep and the other one was about, about 120, something like that. Jeez. Yeah, 
Okay, there you go. They're perfect. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> so that's silver, huh? I guess it's silver, yeah. So that will buy you, I don't know, the Uber ride to go get a new mic. Ooh. That's gonna wrap up this collaboration uh, with Dive Talk and uh, another behind the scenes episode here on my channel, Josh Cantu. An epic, epic trip here in Yucatan, Mexico. And uh, being able to really work with these guys and their skills and expertise and just knowledge on the topic of diving um, has been very, very valuable. I do have a lot of uh, certifications and work to do once I get home. Um, me and Nick want to get started on my advanced open water uh, certification and we're going to be doing that here in June 2023. Now today I was able to go, um, you know, do a dive with Gus and that was really, really epic. Uh, we got down to about 70 feet uh, at the top of the rock pile and whew, super rad, amazing stuff. Um, just hanging out in that like light beam down there was crazy, crazy cool. With that said, I'll see you guys on the next episode. And thank you for being here, for watching, for subscribing, and for all just the positivity that you guys are constantly giving me. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to make as many cool episodes and going to plan as many adventures as possible. I don't know what else um, I'm gonna get into soon. You know, working with the adventure medics, working with chaos divers, uh, working with dive talk, Who's next? If you do have any cool, um, you know, opportunities for storytelling for me or videos that I can make for you uh, in the United States or even not, um, hit me up, send me an email, and maybe I can come be a part of your expedition and make you guys an awesome video for your channel or just for your archive. With that said, Juke Motion Pictures and Josh can too. See you in the next one. I don't know if you realize that this, the design of this suit here, this pocket right here was meant for a pocket mirror so you don't have to look oh, back. Oh, that's what it's for. And then you can check and make sure everything's in trim and adjusted properly and then you put your mirror away. Right, and your hair. Yeah, yeah. I wish wow. they had made suits that would fit me.